Hey guys, how you doing? Okay. So, I'm really getting into Generation Zero. It's a lot of fun. And I've been watching some Generation Zero channels. Because, yes, I go and get tips and tricks. And hints. Everybody needs help. From time to time. And so... What I've noticed is now in 2021, with this game being about two years old... Most of the tips and tricks and videos deal with much higher level content, higher level concepts, and higher level problems, and they don't address the starting player, the noob, the newbie, uh, the neophyte. And so I'm going to provide some tips for 2021 for this game to maybe help you get started and maybe not be so confused and overwhelmed and, uh, you know, enjoy the game more. So, tip number one, every fucking thing explodes, okay? <laughs> this game is filled with, with things that go boom, and they go boom at surprisingly wide radii. Okay, yes, that's the proper term. The plural of radius is radii. See this little box right there? That, that little white box? Yeah, don't get too close, because... Kablooey. Now, just to be sure, before I started the video, I shot that little white box, and it caused this propane tank to explode. It caused that car to explode. It caused these thingy dingies, I guess they're electrical transformers, to explode. If you were standing over here, you would be in a world of shit. <laughs> okay? This game has some insane explosion radius. So, just watch out for that. And if you think it might blow up, just go ahead and assume it's going to blow up. Because, yeah, that was my first death. Standing next to a box that I didn't know was explosive. And the enemy shot it. And, yeah, that was a, that was a quick little um, use of adrenaline. So, that brings me to tip number two. The importance of adrenaline. You might not realize how important this little collectible is. This allows you to revive on the spot. And that's important because, I'll get into this in a moment, the game's crappy save game system. Which we'll, we'll do a tip on that one next. And so, if an enemy kills you, a little, a little dialogue pops up and asks if you want to go to the nearest safe house. So this game uses a, a system of safe houses. And this is where you can respawn at if you die without adrenaline or if you don't want to spawn on the location but what's nice about respawning on the location is the damage to enemies is persistent so if you're working on a particularly tough enemy and you don't get them dead and that enemy kills you you can you can spawn right there on the spot now you're gonna come back at 20 percent health so be be quick with the with the heals and the healing kits okay now, let's let's do let's do the next tip I wanted to cover: crouch walking, so or crouch stealthing. And I got this from Tenebr Tenebrous Infinite. He has some some really good videos. He's really knowledgeable about this game. And so you can see the that's that's the stealth detection meter. Okay. And as long as I go back to crouch, that runner and that and they're called runners. Sometimes I call them dogs. Uh, but that runner is going to have a hard time picking me up as long as I just go back into crouch. And this is a really effective way to uh, speed up your exploration and still remain stealthy. Right. Okay, so that was crouch walking. Okay, next thing you should know about is how important the binoculars are in what's called tech mode, tech view. Okay. And you can see I'm getting all kinds of information on this enemy. This is not particularly useful for experienced players. But for us noobs, this is a godsend. Okay, This game is pretty stingy on the ammo. And you really can't be praying and spraying in this game and expect to be successful. Especially if you find a particular weapon you're effective, you're 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 effective with that you like, 
And so you're going to hammer on that particular caliber of ammo. And if you're just shooting enemies willy-nilly, you're going you're gonna to use a lot more ammo. And so what you need to do is you need to shoot these, these soft spots here. See these see these these little dudes lit up? That's where you want to shoot the sucker, especially in the gas tank. You want to look for gas tanks. Uh, as far as I know, and I'm not a complete total I mean I'm I'm learning, but I'm not I'm not a complete expert yet by any stretch of the imagination. This game has a lot of depth and complexity to it. As far as I know Except for like this tick here, you see, pest class A. <laughs> they are a pest. So with the runner, you want to shoot them right there in that in that fuel tank. Now that goes to my next trip. Ammo types, ammo types, ammo types, ammo types. You need to pay attention to the ammo types. Armor piercing ammo for nine millimeter. See, okay. So this is good for penetrating and damaging armor and you will find these especially the later the later runners they will have an armor plate on the front protecting that fuel tank armor piercing ammo can get through that and knock the plate off so you want to uh, pay attention to what type of ammo type you have you have selected for that particular weapon so if we take a look at my clock my it's a glock but and i'm sure they had to okay so you've got the full metal jacket okay it's a good all-around option but it's not particularly good and then the uh, at damaging components and then you've got the armor piercing for getting through armor for damaging armor and it, it does that quite well what i like to do is i like to run the the shotgun i'm real i if you watch my channel you know i don't like shotguns i really like the shotgun in in this game now this was the first legendary weapon i got okay and so th this game uses a con system and so you have gray green blue pur purple yellow for legendary and pink for experimental i haven't I haven't found an experimental yet so uh you know I, i'm still using uh four crown purples but these are excellent excellent weapons but what i like to do when i can is i carry either um well I mean, you, you run the FMG, the, the full metal jacket, in 7.62. But if I'm, I'm going up against it, and this will penetrate armor, but there is armor-piercing ammo, right? I don't, I don't want to aggro this guy. I'm saving him for some, right? And so this is for, for getting through ammo and shredding of ammo, armor, and shredding armor. And I use this on tougher, tougher opponents. I'm not going to use them on these prototypes. Prototype is the lowest level, lowest uh, level class. Uh, the next tip is put your um, your fire mode on a very convenient button. You can see I'm cycling through burst, automatic, and semi-automatic. Really, really important. The bullet spread and recoil in this game is quite severe. It's quite pronounced. Uh, <clears throat> it's like day of defeat source severe. Okay. I've gotten used to it. I have not specced into the the um, the weapon recoil. I, I I'm I'm going there, and you can see I'm still pretty low level. Well, I'm mid mid level, maybe upper mid level. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. The the weapon recoil and weapon sp uh, weapon sway in this game is 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 pronounced, and it can be. I'm getting I'm getting pretty good at 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 uh, at controlling it but but those those skills would be nice okay so shot placement ammo type changing your changing your cyclic rate of fire is very important of course on a shotgun you, 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 you can't change anything but but usually what I do is I use my assault rifle here to open them up and get the armor off of them and then when they get when they get too close I change to my shotgun now, tip number three, or tip number three, it's not tip number three, tip number 12 gazillion. I like running an assault rifle, a general purpose weapon. That's my assault rifle. And I love the AI-76. It's a really good weapon. Um, and I highly recommend you pick something in 7.62 because there's 7.62 ammo 
everywhere in the mid and later game. And then I want and and I want this general purpose uh, weapon so that I can use it against armored enemies and I can use it against mid-range enemies because some enemies want to stay at medium and long range and if you're relying on the shotgun you're screwed okay although with with a really good choke and you'll notice I have a legendary shotgun choke in this thing but even a blue choke makes a big difference I can reach out to about 20 meters with this with this weapon and hit the medium medium-sized uh, harvesters and whatnot and there's a harvest is that a harvester or is that a dog well let's look I think it's probably gotta be a dog yeah it's a doggo okay yeah 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 okay so the next thing you need to be aware of in this game is there is a max level and there is no respec currently and as far as I know there's no way to reset your your skill points and so you really want to be careful with how you're spending your skill points on what you consider to be your main character. Okay? Uh, and you're, you're going to have to give something up because you get 31 skill points. And you can see I've got, I've got 10 to go. And I, there's, you cannot have every, every, uh, every skill in the game in this, in, with, uh, with, with this system. So... You know, you're going to have to decide what's important to you. And some of the things that you would normally default to in an RPG, like carry capacity. I mean, nine times out of ten, I'm going carry capacity. And here it is in the survival tree. I don't have it right now. Because I really found the game was difficult. The difficulty, the challenge of the game really began to ramp up on me without these combat skills. Because I was going through and I was getting some of these um, these quality of life, these you know utility skills. And I really, I, I struggled. I was burning through ammo. I died a few times in fights that I didn't think I, I should have died. And uh, and then I started, I started specking into that weapon line. Uh, over here in combat on this right hand side and really there's also good stuff over on the left hand column too um, now you have specializations I went Vanguard and uh, this this is really really buffed up my survivability another skill I would strongly recommend you consider is lock picking there is a there is uh, not a ton but there is a sizable a considerable amount of loot that's hidden behind locked doors. Now, some of them you can circumvent in other ways. And early game lock picking seemed much more useful than later mid game or early late game. I, I'm not really sure how far I am into it right now. So maybe lock picking isn't as awesome as I thought it was, but I still think I'd take it. Uh, but the pack, but the carry capacity, I don't know that I'm ever going to get it. I really don't. Uh, and it, it's it's annoying because uh, I am I am badly limited for uh, carrying. By the way, those things blow up. So <laughs> yeah, watch your ass. <laughs> you know, oh, cars blow up. Cars blow up. Boy, do cars blow up. That was that was my first death. Yeah, I think it was right over. I think it was a little bit further further on. Okay, so my next tip is going to be we did ammo top. We did crouch walking. Alright, let's what yeah, okay. Let's talk about mules. This game screams make mules. Okay? So what's a mule? Let me show you. Glad you asked. A mule is an alternate character that's not your main. Your main is a character that that's you, that's that's what you play. A mule Oh wait, 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 before I do that. Let's let's do save games. Okay, how to save your game in this? All right, I'm not gonna go on a completely crazy uh, console rant, but this is a this is a particular instance where console gaming has negatively affected. I'm, I'm trying to be nice about this. Negatively affected a PC game, and so the way it works is when you visit. A safe house 
you will see let me fast travel just if you fast travel okay when you see the little spinny thingy dingy wheel in the in the your game just saved okay so you need to fast travel to a safe house and your game is saved i think you can walk into one but i didn't see the little spinny wheel thing so I'm not going to say that that's true. So anyway, that's how you save your game. Okay, so now let's talk about mules, now that my game is saved. So, go back to the main menu once you've saved your game. And you can make new characters. See, create new. Okay. And this is my mule. And so what I've done is I've offloaded some stuff onto my mule that I don't normally that I don't particularly want on my main but some but it's stuff that I think is a little too valuable or might come in handy later and so I've I've put them on this mule character and I've I've actually offloaded a fair amount of of crafting resources because this game has crafting it's not the greatest crafting system that I've I've uh, encountered it's not the worst um, and you know this isn't a review but so yeah here's here's the recycling center and you can come here and break down stuff that you don't need into crafting resources okay now the problem is this fills up quickly and look it's shared across all your characters so you can stick stuff on your mule. You can stick crafting resources. In fact, I'm going to make a mule to just hold bulk crafting resources like steel, <coughs> excuse me, and adhesive and textile and plastics. And I'm going to offload, you know, two, three, four hundred of these onto that, onto that pure crafting mule. Now, uh, one of the last things I want to talk about is starter weapons. Okay, <clears throat> you're gonna start with the Mueller pistol. I haven't been able to find one to to, to include in this video. The Mueller 32 ACP. It is a bad gun. Absolutely, it's bad. It's and I'm not using one. So, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, if it's so great, why aren't you using one, you shit talker? Well, as as soon as you start to get a fair amount of of nine millimeter, you want to switch over to the Beretta. Absolutely, the Beretta is a better pistol, but you're not going to have much, if any, nine millimeter early game. Okay, and so what you can do with the Mueller, the Mueller can surprise you in its utility. If you can get a silencer on it, even a gray silencer, a gray pistol silencer, the mobs are totally confused because the Mueller seems to be one of the one of the most silent low um, low sonic threshold weapons in the game it's really really and that makes sense because it's a it's a small subsonic projectile and it makes sense that it, it doesn't make as much noise as you know an assault rifle <laughs> or a fucking hunting rifle you know these are large uh, transonic weapons so once and of course transonic means you know beyond the speed of sound when you break the speed of sound you create a shockwave at the front of the of the projectile and then eventually you compress that shockwave to a certain point where you reach the compressible limit of the fluid in this case air yes I'm a I'm a physicist and you get the sonic boom okay and so projectiles cause sonic booms. I'm also an ex-police officer and I've been shot at. And so a bullet, a pistol, a pistol bullet going over your head buzzes like a bee. But a rifle round, a transonic round, a supersonic round cracks. And that crack is the supersonic uh, shockwave. Okay. It's the, the, the sonic boom. And so your higher velocity, higher power weapons should be noisier. And in fact, they are. And I, th I think that's a, a really nice feature of this game. So, don't sleep on the Mueller. Okay? The Mueller, while it's, it's bad, it is bad. You can sneak up to medium and close range with that thing. And you can pop the fuel tanks on dogs. Now, I don't 
think the gray Mueller 32 will one-shot a dog to the fuel tank, but it'll cause a lot of damage, and the dogs don't detect you. They're totally confused. And I've been able to, on several, and I wish I would have got it on tape, but on several occasions, I could sit there and just empty the mag into the dog, and he, he never spotted me. So the silenced Mueller is good. Now, the next thing that you want to look for, your first real weapon will be up here and you'll get a Mueller and so this is a this is a purple you'll get a is it a blue it might be a random it prop, it's probably gray but you will get a, I mean Mueller a Mauser um, sniper rifle this thing is quite decent if you know what you're doing okay and so you see I've got it loaded with full metal jacket FMJs and so let's go back and take a look at the old FMJ here and so this is your good all-around option. I mean, wait a minute. here we go, 243. Okay, so 243. And so you'll see... So the the FMJs, the Full Metal Jackets, those are your kind of ghetto armor-piercing rounds, but they're general-purpose rounds. They're, they're just, you know, when I'm walking around and I don't know what I'm going to face, if I've got FMJs, they're loaded, okay? Now the next thing you have are soft points. Now, these are really good for popping gas tanks, okay? So you really need to be able to load up these different ammo types, okay? And you can get a lot of work done. Now, if you just bought the game, if I'm not mistaken, and if I'm wrong on this, someone please correct me, but if you buy the latest version of the game, I do believe you get all the DLCs or most of the DLCs and when you come into the church for the first time because this should be one of the first areas you reach right you start here you fiddle around here you fight a couple of dogs here you wander through here and you come to the church okay there will be dogs if I'm not mistaken um, when I was here there were dogs right around in this area just sneak around them just go that way sneak around the back sneak into the church Get your butt in here, because this is the first real safe house. Those other safe houses are kind of ghetto safe houses, kind of hoopties or whatever. You want to come over here to your plundra, and in here you will have the Soviet, or I had the Soviet weapons pack, which, eh, you know, it doesn't come with an AI-76, so, but it does come with that Atwad. This is a really good, and I know it's legendary, but it comes in blue. It's a blue con. What is that? Is that three crown? That's four. Yeah, three crown. And it's good. It's a really good weapon. It fires this this uh, this nine millimeter short. Well, nine millimeter long. This nine by thirty nine millimeter. It's basically a it's a cross between a submachine gun and an assault rifle. Now, what's a little weird about the at the at wad? is it comes with a built-in silencer and it's not a great silencer it's just like an okay silencer um, I found that the M16 with a blue was quieter was more stealthy than the Atwad so this is kind of maybe it's a green I'm not sure uh, but this, this is an excellent excellent starter weapon and you can get it in the first 10-15 minutes of your of your game okay you just sneak over here hit this Pick up that Atwad, get your get your mouse or sniper rifle, and then let's go take a look at what we can do, because this is a completely faster... Oh, yeah, I'm overloaded. Okay, let me... Uh, uh, let me see. I know I was... Okay, so, like I said, I like the, the pump shoddy, but without a choke, I don't know how good it's going to be be because the spread is pretty crazy uh, you will get a m60 because there's the American weapons pack you get an m16 and an m60 that's 7.62 you're not gonna see much 7.62 uh, on this part of the starter area when you get over into here you will start to get some 762 you really get a lot of 762 right here okay and then and of course 5.56 you're not gonna see much 5.56 through here so you're really going to be using the Atwad and the Mauser and maybe the Pump Shoddy and 
I mean, eventually you want to transition over to your to, to the the blue Beretta that you get in here. It's excellent, excellent starter weapon. Okay, but so let me. You know what? I'm just gonna. I don't need those things. I'm just gonna drop them on the ground so I can fast travel real quick and we can. Uh, we can. Let's let's go evaluate these starter weapons real quick against some starter starter doggos. Okay, now. I'm going to be honest with you, the game's buggy, and it's frustrating. It, it It's really frustrating, okay? Not going to lie. Especially these damn dogs, these runners, they warp, and their, their, their movement is so buggy as they, as they try to navigate their way around the terrain. It is really frustrating sometimes to hit the dogs. A lot of times, I, I don't even bother trying to shoot a moving dog because it's just... Now, the, the other, the larger enemies, the later enemies, I can hit them while they're moving, but the dogs are so fucking wonky and buggy and... Yeah, I unless I'm really desperate or they're, or they're close range, I usually don't bother. Okay, so, now, this gun is not silenced, right? Let's, let's take a look at the Atwad here real quick. And again, let me see here, who's, is he, okay, so there he is. There's his gas tank. Okay. Okay, now he wants to set back and play. So let's see what we can do here. And I missed. There we go. Okay. I wish I had a mouser to show you. Oh, here comes the tick, I think. Oh, there's the tick. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, I got I got XP on my on my mule. Yeah, I mean, obviously putting a scope on this on this mouser or, or muster. Or, I don't know. Why am I in combat? Do do do. And you you can put a silencer on this, and it does help. Um, but it's you know it's a it's a rifle, so you know. You can only make it so silent, you know what I mean? But it's a good so and I, I tell you what, when it comes to iron sights, these iron sights are absolutely solid. You know what I mean? I don't think you can... Can you shoot an enemy in the water? I don't think you can. Doesn't look like it, does it? Hmm... No, uh, I don't think you can shoot enemies in the water. Oh, he got out of the water. So yeah. So get your Atwad. Get your sniper rifle. Okay. And just remember the the Mueller pistol. Yeah, it it's not great. But if you get a silencer on it and if you if you're stealthy you can make it work, okay? It's not its not complete garbage. It has its place. And it will get you through until you can transition over to the Beretta. So, yeah, guys. I think those are some pretty good low-level, low-bee, newbie starter tips. Um, oh, real quick, before I forget. Uh, early combat. Houses are your friend, okay? Don't feel bad. Because if you go and you watch, if you watch Tenebrous, and you watch some of these other, these other really experienced, really skillful players, you're gonna see them out in the open. They'll sprint and they'll zoom in and they'll shoot and they'll sprint and they'll heal. They're really good. Okay, they have really good weapons. They their their personal eye hand coordinations uh, skills are are top notch. They're very knowledgeable. Their, their character is fully leveled up, inspect correctly. 
they ain't you. They ain't me. Okay? <laughs> so, so houses are your friend. Come in here. Uh, now, you can shoot through some windows, but don't stand right here. Look, it won't go through. You gotta back off a little bit. Now you can shoot through this window, okay? Early game, houses are great, although sometimes, sometimes the runners and the hunters can warp in and they can get inside the house. So just kind of watch out for that. Uh, but don't don't feel bad at all about going out, shoot the enemy in the ass to get their attention, and then run back to a house and use the house for cover. And then that way, you know, I, I like to fight them like right here or on the stairway. And then I can transition upstairs and I can fight them like this. I am starting to fight out in the open because I'm, I'm getting better. I'm probably up into the middling middle tier of personal competency at this game. But don't feel bad at all about going back to the house. And another tip. Trees are your friends. Trees are completely invulnerable to enemy direct fire. Not AOEs, okay? That's more of a mid-game tip because early on you're not going to have... Uh, much, if any, AOE attacks, although the um, the hunters do have a poison gas attack, so you have to watch out for that in the house. They will try to gas you out of the house, and so they will drop their poison gas on the side of the tree they can see, and so you, you, know, you peek out, do some shooting, and then when you see that poison gas get fired, then sprint away. And if you don't know, if you look in the bottom left here, you got the stamina bar with the heart there. Okay, so this is sprint. You're sprinting. Now when the heart runs out, now you're jogging. Okay? This is still pretty quick. And you can increase this with perks. And so if you wanna if you wanna get your your sprinting skill, and then I consider this to be walk. And then this is crouch. So this is what I call crouch walking. Because this is sprint. And then this is jog. Now when you're doing this, you are at your greatest visibility and the enemies will spot you at ridiculously long levels uh, long ranges so be careful sprinting around bad guys okay uh, the dogs aren't looking in my direction if they were they would see me sprinting so anyway guys use the house use the trees um, sprint from cover to cover and um, it's it's a fun game it's a really fun game and I hope these tips and tricks will help some new players uh, jump into the game. Or maybe you're thinking about getting the game and you're not sure if it's, it's for you or not. I will do a review eventually. Uh, I don't know enough to do a true, comprehensive, thorough review of the game just yet. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends. Helps the channel out. Uh, post a comment. Just, you know, don't be a dick about it. Uh, you know, all those things help us smaller channels get noticed. And um, I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one. I'll see you next time.